Hey guys, I'm Jess. I'm Ed. And it is Thursday, so it's just one day from the weekend. How great is that? Well, it's tomorrow for us, so eat that. E eat that, indeed. <laughs> First up, Capcom has addressed whether or not you'll see loot boxes in Monster Hunter World. You won't, but they also had more to say about that. Monster Hunter series producer Ryozo Sujimoto told GameSpot, I think that Monster Hunter has already built that kind of randomized item reward into the gameplay. When you carve a monster after a hunt, you don't know what you're going to get within a certain range. You've got certain rare parts that you almost never get. You've got some of the ones you don't need that you get a lot of. And then there are rewards for the quests as well. There are some rewards that are standard, there are some that are randomized, and a bigger or smaller chance of getting them. He added that Monster Hunter World doesn't need that kind of system as it's already a core gameplay aspect without shoehorning a microtransaction version of it in. As far as letting players use microtransactions to get ahead faster in the game, the dev explained, we want people to have the experience that we've made for them rather than the option to skip the experience. In news that should surprise none of you, Super Mario Odyssey is selling very, very well. Who would have thought? No, I know one. As for just how well it's selling, Nintendo announced that Odyssey has become the fastest selling game on Switch and Super Mario game ever in both the US and Europe, topping 2 million sales in its first three days worldwide. Odyssey sold 1.1 million units in its first five days in the US, which surpasses the previous fastest selling Mario game, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Nintendo of Europe also claimed that Odyssey is both the fastest selling Mario game and Switch game ever in the region. Nintendo also revealed that 2.6 million Switch units have been sold in the US as of the end of October, and the system is on pace to sell 14 million units worldwide between April of this year and March of next year. Finally, and in what is certainly my favorite story of the day, LA Noir is coming to Switch this month, and it doesn't fit on the console. Seriously, that's this story. It doesn't, it doesn't fit. The Nintendo eShop version of LA Noir on Switch comes in at 29 gigabytes, making it too big to fit on your console's internal memory. So basically, you'll need to buy an SD card to play it. The Switch has 32 gigabytes of memory, but 6.2 of that is reserved for use by the system, which is just really funny, according to Jess. You think it's funny? It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. If you think that your best solution is just to pick up the physical version, guess what? That comes with a 14 gigabyte day one update, which includes required gameplay data as well as general bug fixes and improvements. It's also apparently more expensive than the digital version, I guess because it doesn't require you to go out and purchase an SD card. Meanwhile, Bethesda told Rolling Stone that Doom's upcoming Switch port has a campaign and an arcade mode that fit on a 16 gigabyte cartridge, although the multiplayer is a separate nine gigabyte download. That is everything we've got for you guys, but do let us know what you thought of today's stories. And remember, we'll be back with our Friday roundup tomorrow, so come by again then. Bye. Now news that should surprise none of you, Super Mario Odyssey is selling. So, so good. <laughs> All right.